Girls of Reddit, what are the least successful ways a guy has tried to impress you? Told me his salary and body fat percentage in the same sentence. Telling me, what a beautiful Asian I was. B, how great Asian women are. C, how he'd love to date a nation. D, that Asian women age so well compared to his people and E, how he totally had yellow fever. I felt my entire family tree shudder. I once had a guy message me, and his opening line was hey, wanna sit on my face? I responded with why, is your nose bigger than your dick? He blocked me after that. Oh man, my wife's best friend has a good one, but I don't know if she is on here, and it's pretty difficult to not mention. So she goes on this date with a dude who looked like a model. Gorgeous would be the word I may have heard. Anyway, they go on this date. They get in her car, and he just takes his dick out, and starts jacking it. She's like what the fuck are you doing? And he just looks at her like a magician trying to wow her. She doesn't give any way though, and she's pretty pissed. He gets upset and utters this phenomenal phrase, PFFT, you're just like the others. Which means that he has done this before. There is some good looking dude, who just goes on dates, and jacks off in their car and wonders why no one likes him. When I was 18 waiting tables a much older man used to come in and sit in my section a lot. One day he brought in his daughter, who was probably 6, and introduced me to the daughter as mommy. He told me he knew I was the commitment type and said he said I was worth the best thing he had to offer. It was cringeworthy. When we were dating my husband bought a little box of chocolates for me but had already eaten half of them because he wanted to try them too. I still make fun of him for it. Literally showing me a video he posted on Facebook of him doing a leg press in the middle of the club dance floor. I just stared at him as one would stare at a pet who just shit on the rug. After bringing me every type of soda from the school vending machine, despite being told numerous times that I can't drink soda, he pulled up a song on his phone and blasted it on full volume. He told me of how he understood the Japanese lyrics and the romance they held because love was a language spoken through our emotions and could be understood by all. And of course, how the song represented a love. It was pretty cringeworthy. Oh yeah. And he also told me that he didn't normally date Russian chicks I have blonde hair. So obviously I'm Russian because they are so strong and tough that they overwhelm his manliness. But I was an artistic goddess who could set him free. These are just the highlights. He did this stuff every day on the bus for an entire semester. It was a typical weekend night and a big group of us were hanging out. He had a major crush on a girl in group. His mom pulls up to get him, and he decides to go all action hero and smoothly slide across the hood of her car to the passenger side. Only he skidded across the hood, and flopped face first off the other side ripping off her passenger mirror with that ridiculous wallet chain of his. She was pissed. Jumps out of the car and starts yelling at him. He just looked dumbfounded. Oh my god it was hysterical. Even now, trying to type this is taking forever, because I can't quit cracking up at the memory. Me and my boyfriend bike together very often, and he always does wheelers to win my heart. He says he thinks it's a really great idea. In my first conversation with this guy, he told me, or better yet boasted, about how he could smell when women were ovulating, and how women had a specific glow about them during those few days in their menstruation cycle. I noped the fuck out of there. My so tried to light two cigarettes at once on our second date. The wind kept snuffing out the flame. With two cigarettes still in his mouth he said, impressing you one failure at a time. His attempt to impress me didn't work, but I thought he was cute, so I kept him. We no longer smoke. This happened to me. I was at a bar and the bartender asked me to pass him a chair over the bar. They do this when the bar gets crowded, and so I thought I'd impress the girl I was talking to by doing it with one hand. I ended up knocking the drink out of her hand and onto her dress, immediately trying to catch the drink while forgetting I was still holding onto the chair, dropping the chair on another guy who then proceeded to do what I attempted to do with ease. I just walked home. Yesterday I was at a water park with my sister and I younger cousin. Sister and I were looking at stupid shit on her phone when my cousin goes hey, that guy was doing pull ups on that tree and was just intensely staring at the both of you. He apparently managed to get 3 whole pull ups done, and got ants on his hands. Here's to you, weird pull up guy. I don't know what you were thinking, 
but you managed to earn yourself a reddit comment. Reading entire pages from a book, written in Latin over a dinner date in a thick Italian accent, because that's the way it most likely sounded, without translating anything, until I was about ready to fall asleep. I wrote off all classics majors after that date. Eater, I tried bringing up some of my research after this, he tells me he doesn't believe nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, because take radio waves, for example. They travel at the speed of sound, faster than light. Back in high school when flip phones were cool a boy who like me would put his phone on the floor with the antenna out and then stomp the antenna so it would flip the phone up and catch it. The last time he missed and just straight stomped his phone to bits. He texted me every hour or so every day for almost a month then asked me out over text. When I declined he said something along the lines of well it doesn't have to be a date date we could go as friends and see if anything happens see I can be accommodating. After another month of this, I made a Google Voice account and told him I changed my number. It's been almost 3 years and I still get texts slash phone calls on that number. Anyways he ended up dating my friend, flirted with me incessantly, cheated on her with multiple girls, not me. The two broke up. He asked me out again then nearly got arrested for threatening to beat up a few kids. But hey, he's super accommodating. I'm really good at cursive proceeded to write his name in cursive. He wasn't that good at cursive. I was dating a guy in first year university. He was a fair bit older than me and I mostly saw him evenings and weekends. He was a metal worker and worked long days, etc. Things weren't moving in the direction I wanted them to be going. Read. Him acknowledging me as his real girlfriend slash actually officially dating. It spawned a lot of petty arguments. I ended up breaking up with him and going back to his place the next day to get my stuff. He goes oh, I made you this for Valentine's Day, but hadn't given it to you. Dude pulls out the full size metal rose that he's cut and welded by himself and painted up all fancy. The breakup happened in April, over two months after Valentine's Day. Dude panicked and tried to pull out some romantic gesture after realizing I was leaving. I took the rose and I left. It sits on my desk, and I look at it every day. Spoils of war. Bragging about how much liquor he could handle, and then attempting to prove it. To be fair, he handled a lot of liquor, but it doesn't help that it made him belligerent enough to get physically thrown out of the bar. A guy approached me out of the blue on Facebook, and was like oh you have pretty eyes, and I said thanks, and he follows up with do this personality test, tell me your score and it'll let you know, if we can continue this conversation. Mine from a thread a bit ago, oh, this is going to get buried, but I just have to share, I'm 15, at a church retreat with other 15 year olds, ick now, I once broke my arm a few years ago, oh ha, I'm sorry, yeah. We were living in Russian at the time. They took me into habits raid. But they almost forgot to give me the lead vest. I express confusion. As I have never had a broken bone or arms ray. Well, it keeps the radiation from getting to the body. Sensitive parts of the body especially. If you know what I mean. It can mess up performance. But they did remember the vest. So, just so you know. I'm still all functional down there. He gives me a thumbs up fastest I've ever tried to escape a conversation. On our first date, about 10 minutes in he told me that everyone always said that he gave the best foot massages and asked if I wanted one. I told him over and over again that I don't like my feet touched but he wouldn't relent so I finally said fine. Cue what feels like him literally trying to break my foot. Ended up with bruises. I was walking with a couple of my girlfriends when a guy on a motorcycle passed us. As he drove by, he revved his engine and proceeded to take a sharp turn too fast and ditched his bike. He took off his helmet as he stood up and brushed himself off, picked up his bike, then he put his helmet back on. Only, he tried to put his helmet on backwards at first. My friends and I are not mean spirited, so we managed to keep a straight face until he drove away, then we laughed our asses off. Poor guy. Had a guy take me on a date to a pool hall, so he could show off how great a pool player he was. Kept mouthing off about trick shots and English. I let him win a game, to see how he played. Then smoked him 4 games in a row. Dude had no defensive game. 
I've had a pool table in my house since I was 5, and my dad used to do trick shots in pool halls to win extra money in college. Had a guy ask me to his prom. I was 10, and had never met him before. He asked me by buying me a candy bar, while I was waiting for my mom to check out in the grocery store. I was creeped out. My mom thought it was hilarious. It's a tie between the guy that would tell me stories of generally being a dick and following up with I know I'm an asshole, but at least I'm honest, right? And the guy that told me the story of how he drove the only girl out of his wow guild by getting everyone to refer to her as a talking vagina, but she totally deserved it because she had a high pitched voice. No joke, the first time I was ever hit on that I realized what was happening, I was 16. I had just gotten off my first day of work at a theme park and was sitting at a picnic table in a gazebo waiting for my mom to pick me up. This kid, about 16 or 17, that I have never met before, walks over to me, takes off his shirt saying man is it hot out here, and then proceeds to ignore all of the other empty picnic table in the gazebo and start doing push-ups on mine. Yes, push-ups. On the table. That I'm sitting at. Shirtless. While he is doing these push-ups he is asking me all kinds of questions. What apartment I work in? How did I like it? Blah blah blah. Then he jumps off the table, still talking to me, and starts doing pull-ups from the edge of the gazebo. I'm awkwardly averting my eyes because, well, this is freaking awkward, but I'm also trying to be nice and not ignore him, something I would do now. Finally my mom gets there, I can see her laughing in the car, wiping tears from her eyes. Before I get up shirtless dude sits real close to me and asks, so can I get yo number? And I reply, I mean, if you want to be friends? He didn't. Thank goodness. <laughs>